The day after the Prime Minister asked all parties to dial down the rhetoric, his deputy has instead doubled down, or is that tripled at this stage? Winston Peters says he's not backing down one iota and will not apologise for comments linking race relations in New Zealand to Nazi Germany. But he's been asked to not get back up again over his theme tune. The band that wrote Tub Thumping has told him to cease and desist. Here's our political editor, Jenna Lynch. He got knocked down, he got up again and he's got it on repeat. Winston Peters. But Chumbawamba, the band who wrote the 90s smash, wants to keep Peters down. Asking the label to issue a cease and desist and asking Peters to stop using their song to try and shore up his misguided political views. We got knocked down, but we got back up again. In a statement to Stuff, Chumbawamba's guitarist wrote, it was entirely odd that the I get knocked down refrain is being used by Peters as he barks his divisive, small-minded, bigoted policies during his recent speeches. That's the first I've heard of that. First heard of it. Chumbawamba stuck the knife in further saying the band doesn't share any of Peter's ideas on race relations and the song wasn't about rich politicians trying to win votes by courting absurd conspiracy theories and spouting misguided racist ideologies. It's not just the soundtrack, but the speech itself that's causing Peter's problems, particularly his likening of race relations to Nazi Germany. I've seen that sort of philosophy before. I saw it in Nazi Germany. We all did. He's not backing down despite being spoken to by the Prime Minister. But I'm not Even after the Prime Minister. listening to either yours or crap, actually, right? Accusing the media of misrepresenting him in a ranting media release, claiming he never mentioned co governance or the Holocaust, saying, I'm not backing down one iota. I want everybody in this country, no matter whether they're here for 1,000 years or here yesterday, legally, to be treated the same, equally as one people. I make no apology for that. We had a conversation yesterday afternoon and as I've been saying, I call on all political leaders of all political parties to watch the language. Peter's made the comments during a section of his speech labelled Labour Government Failures. And the insidious creep of racist co-governance. The Nazi comments came just after that. You compared uh, Labour's approach to co-governance to Nazi Germany. Is that appropriate? Yes, it is. Why? Because that's what it's based on. It's based on racial preference, based on somebody being superior. But by the following morning, the story had shifted and Peters was claiming it had nothing to do with co-governance and everything to do with Rawiri Waititi. But why did you have to bring the Holocaust into this? Well, because last year, Waititi from the Māori Party said that Māori had superior DNA. He and his party think it's been overblown. Look, I think there's a lot of catastrophisation going on. You stop lying, mate. This is textbook Winston Peters, deflection, obfuscation and retrospective narrative building. But in the words of Mr Peters himself, words matter. And in this case, Mr Peters' own words are stacked against him. Jenna Lynch, News Hub.